to pick them. Bum, 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 bum. YouTube Oz that go in the goat house is back. We're back. Week two pick ems. Real excited to keep on going here with the series. We're here picking every single game every single week. Mm. Got score predictions as well. Plenty more on the channel. Trying to reach that 60K sub goal. Uh, you know, sometime, sometime soon. That that'd be lovely. Mm. Uh, again, full NFL content. We got a Twitter. Go ahead and follow that Twitter. It's a must follow. They're constantly talking football during live games, even when there's not games. We're we're talking football. Uh, we have an Instagram podcast, Patreon, and plenty more there. You can check out. There's a link in the description in the comments. We'd much appreciate if you can check any of that out. But let's let's take a look at this leaderboard. We're through one week. We got yes. uh, we got a leaderboard here. There you go. Flex like on him. Pete's in last. Why am I on the bottom? <laughs> Pete's in last. I think we got to dump you two, Junior and Pigskin, and pick up Drew Sports and Spency, too. No. No, it's early. Week one it is, is always serious. It They're is beating early. us. The, 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 in, in the viewers' pool there, they got 14. 14 in week one. So mm. two people tied for first place uh, here at the Goat House. Got myself and Danny. Tied in first with 12 wins. You guys are just down there at the bottom with nine wins. I don't think you guys are catching up. I got to say one thing real quick. Still in the neighborhood. What is it? I'm off to an absolutely steaming hot start right now, and I'm very proud of myself. There you go. Yeah. Well, we over the past couple of years, always in last place. Looked at the tape, went back year after year, you're, and we you're were getting, getting better. Ahead of yourself. What does the better. tape tell you it, it about told, picks? It, it told me everything I needed to know. I got the whole 22 right. of my picks. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Again, we're here every Tuesday night with these picks. Also, do score predictions, plenty more. Uh, you know, that Patreon link will will get even more content. So check it out. But uh, on to Thursday night football. We got. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just getting a shot there. Get out uh, of my shot. We got the Bengals at the Browns. Hell of a game on Thursday, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Battle of Ohio. Battle of Ohio. AFC North battle. Um, I talked about last week, I mentioned that everybody, it applies to everybody. It's a must-win situation. Uh, but I thought the Saints game was a must-win. The Saints had to win. That was the ultimate team last week. They went out and did it. I'm thinking this is an absolute must-win for the Browns. I think if they if they lose at home against a division rival that they're supposed to beat, it's going to be pretty disastrous, let, let me tell you. So, um yeah, this is an absolute must win. Anybody want to start us off here? Bengals at Browns. Yeah, I'm taking the Browns. You're taking the Browns. Yeah, I'm pretty confident in this one. I think uh, I think they're too talented to play like they did last week. So I think they're going to bounce back, um, and hopefully in a good way. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm taking the Browns here as well. I just um, I don't know. They're the better team here, but I still think they're going to struggle all year. That that was that was rough. That was very bad. They played the Ravens, but it, it was it was bad. You got to show some signs of life. It was just terrible. Yeah. Um, Pete, you going with Joey Burrow? Uh, ah. Do it. Do it, Pete. Do it, Pete. Come on, Pete. Do it, Pete. You guys are tons of me. Do no. it, Pete. Oh, no, I have Come the Browns. On, Come I have on. the Browns Do selected it. here. Um, yeah, I don't know. The bank, I mean, we talked about it. The Browns did play the Ravens, but they did not show enough there. But I think Baker has a better game. Um, and the Bengals... I mean, I don't think the Chargers looked at very good either, so I thought that was, I don't know, that was an easier opponent, and they still blew that one. So I'm going to go the Browns here at home. Give me – it's a tough one to pick. Real tough one to pick here. Um, He's going to do it. No, I'm going to take the Browns. Oof. I think at home, if this was in Cincinnati – I'd be I'd be riding with the home team here. I'd be taking I'd be taking the Bengals. Uh, I I it's tempting because I think Joe Burrow will throw on this this defense. I think he'll throw quite a bit, but I do think uh, Miles Garrett could have a big game. Maybe a guy like Sheldon Rich, Richardson can get that interior pressure. It could be uh, quite game changing there. But I do worry about uh, pretty much the rest of that defense uh, of the Browns. But um, I think they get going. I think they run the ball very well, split Nick Chubb, and a little more of Nick Chubb this week. Cream uh, Hunt actually got more carries than Nick Chubb. I don't think that happens again this week, but probably not too far off. So I think they run the ball pretty well, and I think uh, that will open up the play-action pass, and I think um, I think these, these corners can be beat here for, for the Bengals, especially with Trey Wayne's out for some time, obviously. Um, so I, I, I am taking the Browns. I do like me some Jesse Bates, though. He looked real good in week one there, this, the Bengals' safety. So guys like that could pick off Baker and really change the game. But looks like all of us are going with the Browns here at Thursday Night Football. 
Moving on the next game, Bears. the Giants mm. at the Bears. Mm. Um, yeah, Bears with that comeback. How you guys feeling? We could we could say that for the podcast, but yeah. uh, just over, just quick thoughts, just quick. How you feeling? Uh, I mean, I think they got to tell Mitch it's the fourth quarter every quarter. There you go. That's, that's what I'm. That's, that's the, the, the stuff I'm plan. looking for. That's a that's a great answer. Yeah. I think. Uh, I mean, I could talk all day about the offense, but I kind of want to talk about the defense. The defense is definitely scaring me. They did not play like a Chicago Bears defense uh, last week. So um, I think what you saw was the Lions were picking on Danny Trevathan, and I was kind of getting a little nervous about that. So hopefully he bounces back and has, has a better performance. Um, retrospect, the Giants last week, they uh, – they kind of they were kind of streaky. They were having some good drives, and then all of a sudden they just could not block worth a shit. So I don't know if I can say that on YouTube anymore. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go with that. I'm taking the Bears. They're gonna of have course. to Come allow on. it. Come They're on, gonna have to. Come on. Come uh, on. Uh, all right, Danny with the Bears. Uh, junior, the Bears. Yeah, yeah, the Bears. yeah. You got the Bears. He's got the Bears. Uh, oh, give me the Bears. Give me the Bears. Yeah, yeah. yeah Pete, yes. welcome aboard. Pete's got the Bears. Pete's got the Bears. I think. Uh, I mean, that's big time, that comeback. I think they're gonna ride that momentum into this game. What about the? Uh, oh, excuse me. Hashtag. Extend Allen Robinson. Thank you very much. Yes. What do you think about that news, though? I don't know. Think that's gonna hurt him a little bit? I don't think so. I think I they're think. gonna get a deal done. I, mean, I think he's gonna play pretty pissed off. I yeah. doubt he's gonna sit out or anything. He's not so. gonna. Yeah, he's not gonna like intentionally like just blow it. You think he's gonna get a stomach tattoo that says "Pay me"? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> feed me. kind of like Zeke Could, with "Feed yeah, me." Yeah, right. yeah that's that what he's going for. He just show it off. You know what? Scored. I think Mitch needs to get one that says fourth quarter." Oh, fourth, <laughs> yeah. quarter fourth quarter, Mitch. Okay. Fourth quarter, Mitch. Uh, I actually think Mitch is going to have a good game. If I'm, if I'm. Uh, hey, last time we here. played the Giants, Chase Daniel. That's true. Yeah. Tariq Cohen threw a touchdown. That no, game. I, uh, no, yeah. the Bears, they squeaked it out. Bears oh, they they was, they was, they a couple missed field, field goals from Aldrich Rosas. He looks like he's Rosas. done for. <laughs> uh, I'll, that's, that's safe to say that he's done for. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know who I was picking this game up to the spot here. Um, Here's the thing. Your I was, power rankings. The, they already told the us. Power rankings aren't predictions. <laughs> all right, they're not. They're not predictions. Um, one of these teams lost last week. One one, and I think the team that lost actually might have impressed me more. But maybe that's just because of where the expectations were at. Uh, Daniel Jones was impressive. That the first interception was a freaky play by T.J. Watt. So I'm not going to blame Daniel. There's really no fault to Daniel Jones. Yeah, he can get the ball up a little higher. The next one. Costed them the game. It was pretty bad, but it's one of those things that you can very easily fix. It's just throw the ball away there. Throw the ball away earlier. Um, I he was trying. It's just it's way too late. It's way know. too late. Um, played a really good defense. Steelers. The Bears are a really good defense, but yeah, Danny brought it up that they didn't look too. They didn't look that great last week. Uh, Stafford was able to throw on them. AP was able to run on them. And the Lions got a little conservative. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the Giants. Oh no! I oh, think. My God. Can this, I tell you something real quick? This is the. Let me tell you what the deciding factor is. Oh, I think they can throw on them. Daniel Jones impressed me. He just can't make those stupid mistakes. Where it definitely could happen, and that could be the difference. Um, but this is the deciding factor. The Giants were one-dimensional against the Steelers. They were one-dimensional. They only could throw. The Steelers really weren't fearing the run after a bit. So they knew they were throwing, and they were still throwing well. Uh, the points that they scored will not show how good their offense played. So I think I'm banking on them getting Saquon. The Bears got a really good defense, though, even though they weren't too good last week. So that's really what can stop them. But if they get Saquon going, I think they win this game. Um, I, I'm going to say this is my squeaker of the week, I think. I think i got to go with this for my squeaker of the week. In sloppy soldier. Squeaker. I think Saquon's going to – I think Saquon likes it sloppy. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> I think he likes a real sloppy. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa Interesting. Whoa, whoa. Wow. What were you going to say? That? In, you had something to say to me? I, what I was you just, to say to me? I was just, I'm shocked. I, you know, it's oh, a t- it's a toss I, one, up. More, one more question for How many quarters are in an NFL game? Four. How many, uh, when, when does Mitch come alive? Four. Fourth quarter. Yeah. I think the upside of the Bears is that they got outplayed for three quarters and they still won the game. I think that's like almost a. It's a negative, but then it's a positive, too, because if you play more than one quarter, um, you, you, I mean, against a team like the Giants, you're probably going to win the game. I think um, the Bears' defense is going to bounce back quite a bit. I think you're going to see a lot more pressure that could be the uh, thrown at the yeah. quarterback that we didn't do last week, whereas uh, um, you know the Giants' offensive line couldn't really hold off that pressure. So I think the Bears are going to make their adjustments, and you're going to see the defense come alive. I am worried about the Giants' defense, but I don't think – a guy like Trubisky, I don't. You guys should agree with this. I don't think it really matters how good the defense is. I don't think like a necessarily a really good defense is going to make him play any worse. I think it's if he's on or if he's off. 
That's fair. Is that yeah. accurate? Yeah. yeah, that's fair. I think like some court, like Kirk Cousins or maybe even Daniel Jones, like if he plays a really, really good defense, they're not going to play as good. If they play a, a average to weaker defense, they're going to light it up. I don't think Trubisky's like that. So it's just kind of a mystery with them, basically is what I'm saying. So I'll take the Giants. Like I said, I was deciding, you know, on the spot there with that one. I think the difference was – uh, I, I think uh, Saquon gets going, but if the Bears defense shows up, you know, much better than last week's Bears defense, that could be the difference. The Falcons and the Cowboys, two zero and one teams here. What do we got? Look Cowboys junior. disappointed me. They it did. It disappointed a lot of people. Seventeen yeah. points. That's what is that? Hmm. Uh, I'm not too worried. I'm going to take. Taking, the, I'm going to take the Cowboys in this one. Yeah, I'm uh, taking the boys. You're taking you – slow your roll there. I'm not even done yet. Yeah, you ain't even finished talking. I ain't even finished talking, man. Get me over there. Uh, Get him over there. I think the Cowboys, they're the better team. You know, I, I kind of thought they could struggle a little bit early. It's still early. did think they would beat the Rams. Uh, but I think the difference in that game was Aaron Donald and the, 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 the Rams secondary. Rams secondary, one of the better ones in football. The Falcons – they don't have Aaron Donald, but then it's not too far off there with Grady Jarrett, so he could be the game changer. But the secondary, really nowhere near the same as the Rams. I think Dak will be able to throw the ball pretty well. It, you know, it's only been one week, but it's it's something that I, I can overreact to. It's not really an overreaction. It's something that the Falcons have been doing. They are, you know, they're 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 struggling to start hot on offense, and it could be the case again in this game. I you know I think I thought the Cowboys put up points last week. I was wrong. But I do think they put up points this week, some good points. So I'll take the Cowboys. It could go either way, though, but I like I the Cowboys. I want to say something. I think I think, I'm, this might be an overreaction, but I think the Falcons just need to, like, move on from Dan Quinn. It just feels like it's the same it's the same thing, every, the same single thing yeah. every single year. Every single year, no. And the other thing I was going to say is I know who Junior's taking. Look, at, look what he's wearing over there. He's repping the colors. Yeah, give me the Cowboys. <laughs> 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 uh, any reason for that? Uh, I don't know. I I think like the man hates the Falcons. I don't hate the Falcons. They're just they just uh, never meet the hype. Never meet the hype. The fans were giving you a nickname. You know what, what it was? is it? The man who hates the Falcons. All right. I mean, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. I don't hate them. Don't hate anyone. Uh, but I don't know. I think the Cowboys get rolling. There was no preseason. That was that was their preseason. All that right? was it. That was it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with the Cowboys as well. Being back at home, there's there's no reason why they should lose this game. They don't got to play Jalen Ramsey in this one. They don't got to do it. The Cowboys hey, are a little Rams banged defense up. Looked They're a little banged good. up, actually. Yeah, I think that was a big problem is Leo Collins wasn't there. Uh, oh, they lost. And then, they, uh, the they lost. Van Der Esch. Van Der Bosch. Van Der Bosch. Did we agree that we're going to call that yeah. later? Yeah, so if anybody's going to correct us, <laughs> that's how we say it. <laughs> I just stopped myself. I just realized you're wearing this. I should have been like uh, this. I went like this when you said squeaker of the oh, week. Oh, you did? Yeah, I like, I that's like my squeaker of the week. Yeah. <laughs> just go over here. Which is a tight game if anybody, uh, what is it, three points or three less? Three points Toy. or less. I don't yeah. even know if, what did I say my squeaker was? Bears. Bears, Bears. are Giants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah just because I didn't the really know what way, to though. pick on that one. Yeah, Toy. you did it the wrong way. Uh, I did it the wrong way. All right, all of us for the Cowboys. Locked. Go Dallas guarantee. Go Dallas guarantee, I suppose. Lions, Packers. NFC North bat. Uh, both these teams had an NFC North battle last week. They get it again. Uh, the Lions blew a comeback. The Packers' offense looked extremely impressive against the Vikings. Uh, I'll start it here. I'll start it. The Lions kind of talked about with the Bears. The Lions were able to move the ball. They were able to move the ball. Stafford was throwing very well when they let him throw. Uh, I think early they weren't getting a lot of points because they would let him throw. They would get in the Bears' territory. Then they would kind of shut it down get conservative, and then they blew the comeback because they were conservative. If you let Stafford throw the whole time, they may have won. The, I think they would have won the game. Uh, and the Packers did give up some points, give up some yards. So I think Stafford gets going. I also think um, the Lions probably got a little cocky against the Bears. They're probably like, all right, the, we're Bears, beating that ass. the Bears aren't coming back. We're beating that ass. There you go. Um, mm. The Packers, Aaron Rodgers, they're not going to get. There's no way they're getting conservative against the Packers. So I don't think the same thing happens. I think actually Matt Stafford gets going, but oh, I probably yeah, had people fooled that. there. I had people. You do I'm it a, every year. Uh, <laughs> I'm taking the Packers. Aaron Rodgers, he's feeling it. He's feeling it, ladies and gentlemen. That was one hell of a game in Week One uh, against a, a defense that I think is better than the Lions defense. And uh, I, I think. Don't it, know. I don't know. Yeah, you never know. That it was pretty bad, but um, and they keep rolling. I think some similarities. So the Vikings couldn't really get pressure. Uh, and the Lions couldn't get pressure against the Bears. The yeah, Lions, you know, maybe they had to do something with Collins ejecting himself there. But 
Uh, they'll get him back. Injecting himself? Eject. Did you see him, like, throwing up his hands? Like, what just confused as to what he did? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, under- I understand it was, like, the ref kind of, like, leaned into it, flopped, whatever, but, like, wh- when has it ever been okay? Yeah, you can't even, like, put your hand <laughs> on a rock let alone. Huh? What? What did you say? Nothing. No, I didn't hear uh, you. I got the Packers. I think Aaron uh, Rodgers gets going. I got the Packers as well. Yeah, give me him. Um, I'm sorry, Packers fans. Junior been, said give me him, so where's been, Pete? Pete's over here. I've been kind of bashing the Packers the last – Graphics guy. The last yes. year. Last year, and – I said Aaron was done. No. And like I don't know, like last week just looked like just looked like prime Aaron Rodgers. Just it's like they didn't just need an extra wide receiver. No. Maybe just, that was just a one week thing. Maybe just, no more Aaron Rodgers. He was just putting the ball exactly where it needed to be. He could have closed time. his eyes and it was going it was, it was like a magnet. Yep. Magnets. Were the, were the balls tested for magnets? Mm. That's they good. might need to test them on those kicking balls. I don't know. If Especially it was Tom Titans. Brady, they probably would have tested them for magnets, but uh or maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, probably not. Uh, I'm going to hop in here. I'm you're going to take the Lions, aren't you? Uh, I kind of really do want to take the Lions, but I'm going to take the Packers. Okay. I think AP gets rolling early, and for that reason, I'm going to lock this in as the squeaker of the week. Okay. Shocking. Shocking. Shocking squeaker. Yeah. Right, right there. All right, that's that's a guarantee though. That means the Packers are uh, they're winning. There's no other right. uh, there's no other Could way. We 100 percent last week on our Goat House guarantees. Uh, we all we need we need Colts. to do the same metric. The Colts on that. the Colts blew it. We all picked the Colts. They let us down. Can we'll we actually keep track of that this year? Our save met- saber metrics on our Goat House guarantees. Yeah, if you want to, you go ahead. Well, I'm going to do it. Yeah, all right. do it. We only missed one last week. Could you have like a sign that I'm you hold up? I'm struggling to see. So. We got Jags and Titans. Titans. Bam. Uh, Jags with an impressive win last week. Gardner Minshew only incompleted one pass. What Titans. A what a beast. Eh, they won. It was a little sloppy, mm. but they'll take it. Uh, what's, what's, what's the Titans guy got for us? Uh, uh, excuse me. I got this. Thank you. Uh, I think Gardner Minshew has three incompletions and a loss. The Titans win. Three incompletions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Titans win. All right. Pete. Pete's going to go. He, do- he does. Gardner Minshew does play a little conservative, you know. Um, he does what the offense asks. That's quick small ball. He, he does, gets the ball uh, out quick. It, it works too. It's gonna. It's gonna. I don't know. I, I don't want to go too in depth about the game yesterday, but I mean, I don't know. I thought the off. I, everyone said the defense played well. I thought the offense played actually well, and they left points on the board. And the defense kind of scared me. I don't know. Like just, I think they desperately need a Dory Jackson, um, and it's gonna be tough. The secondary's gonna have a have a challenge here. Um, but obviously I'm going to go with the Titans at home. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they, they never – Titans never have a good start to the season, so I was happy they pulled that one out, even though it was ugly. Okay. All right. Uh, I think I think Derrick Henry gets rolling in this game. Well, you know that. That uh, he's the Jags killer. <laughs> Titans win. I like their defense, too. I, I, I just You like the defense? I like the defense. Titans defense? I do like it, but I, that little yesterday scared me. I don't know. It's week one, man. Don't be scared, I Pete. Think don't the, be scared. They held the Broncos. Well, to... it didn't help that Rashawn Evans was out instantly in the game. And uh, Bigger idiot. Jamie Collins, Rashawn Evans, go. Uh, Equals. I'm, no, I'm going to go with uh, Evans because like, I, I never have fully understood throwing a punch at somebody with a helmet on. I don't know. That's a good point. I'm, I'm, never, on understood board. I'm on board. I've never well, understood that. Collins was showing the ref something. All right. Right. The Evans wasn't showing anybody anything. He was just. Yeah. Did he keep an open hand though? Fist or open? No, I think it was fist. Was it fist? It's even right, dumber. Yeah, That's even fist. dumber. He should be out for this game too if it was a fist. <laughs> if it's an open hand, he probably shouldn't have been taken out of the game at all. To keep an open hand, isn't that, isn't that like a law? Yeah, I think so. No. Yeah. I think oh, it's in the rule book. <laughs> I think I was serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me the Titans. But anyways, um. Big Big Jeff did impress me though. Big Jeffrey Simmons was yeah was is that was what they wild. call him? Yeah, Big, Big Jeff, yeah. <laughs> Big, Big Jeff. Jeff. Uh, and the I don't know. I th- I was impressed with the offense. Honestly, I don't know. A lot of people weren't, but I think just like even if teams try to stop Henry and stop AJ Brown, we have other weapons we could hit. So it's I think we have a complete complete offense. Mm. Well, guess what? It's a goat house guarantee, Ooh. but the Jags spoiled our only goat house. Uh oh. Guaranteed oh, no. spoiler. I don't know what I just said, but they they, they spoiled it. They did that, so they might yeah. do it again. That's a, it's so Jags fans might be a little happy here. <laughs> they like they like it, uh, but I, I like yeah we like we like the Titans. Uh, moving on, <laughs> Vikings Colts. Uh, all right, pretty poor perf- defensive performance from the Vikings last week. Offense got going. 
not right off the bat, but it, oh, that, the first drive it did. Um, Colts, Colts game was weird. Like first couple series, I'm like, I was pretty impressed. I was like, all right, Colts, all right, Phillip, Phillips, Bond, uh, and then it just got, it just turned completely around. Um, two teams I don't really trust the corners fully. I think both quarterbacks get going in this game. I think both quarterbacks have a pretty productive day. Um, I think the difference is is uh, is running game and the turnover battle because I think quarterbacks, will, in terms of production, will have a pretty even day. So running game, turnover battle, I think that both of those point to the same team, uh, and that's and that's the Vikings. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the Vikings there. I think Dalvin Cook really gets going in this game. I think they'll... Uh, they could turn it over, but I think I'm going to say they. I'm going to get specific here. I, I mean, they're going to get two turnovers. They're going to they're going to pick Rivers off once, and they're going to get a fumble. Is that going to be on Who's Rivers? Uh, or I'm going to say Jonathan Taylor. Taylor. I'm going to say Jonathan okay. Taylor. Uh, so yeah, the two turn. I got really specific there. Uh, we'll see if it happens. But I'm going to get real specific. All right, let's. Ooh. This is going to be my squeaker of the week, and I'm going to go with the Vikings. It's going to come down. <laughs> To the very end, Philip Rivers is gonna have the ball. Fourth quarter, two minute, two oh. minute drill, and he's gonna Stop throw. Where you heard he's this. gonna throw a pick. Who's gonna get the pick? Uh, Harrison Smith's gonna get I the mean, pick. Why not? Okay, okay. Yeah, give me the Vikings. Ooh. I was actually gonna make this my squeaker of the week just because they're both. Nope, uh, I took it. You did take it, so I. But since you have the hoodie on, could you? Nope. Like trump him, kick Ooh. him out. Nope. Okay. All right. All right. All right. That's fair. Nope. Uh, Chuck Dusta. I mean, nope. I'm taking the team that I don't know. The Colts for me, they got they got a lot of proving it to to me for for me. If they they need to just come out and kind of, I don't know, they, they need to they're gonna they need to lean on the running game. But I don't know if you can do that with Jonathan Taylor. I, I just don't know. And this is where I take an extra point from all of you. I'm taking the Colts. Whoa. Taking the home team. Gonna Are ride. the roads open or closed? To be determined. I will say that the Colts have some fans in this game. They're gonna have some fans. I think that's gonna play a small factor. I mm-hmm. think uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm just uh, I, I have a gut feeling on this one. I'm taking the Colts. You gotta go with your gut. Yeah. You gotta do Always it. Always gotta do it. Uh, all right, we're moving on. Okay. All right, Bills, Dolphins. This is actually this is actually a tough game to pick. I think. I think this is a tough game to pick. I think. Uh, the do- no. 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 All right. Uh, go ahead. Give me the Bills. Big Bills guy over here. <laughs> Not a big Bills guy. Huge Bills guy. I mean, the Jets might be the worst team in football. And the but Jets, they're playing the Dolphins. And the Dolphins are up there now too. They, oh, they. What? They, how many points they score? What about Fitzmagic? How many points they score? Dolphins. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. And doesn't it, happen every year. It could have been. It could have been worse too. Nikhil that's Harry. That's a good point. Nikhil Harry fumbled in the back of the end zone. It should have been a touchdown if he held onto the ball. It should have been. It should have been a lot worse. Was Danny shaking his head, head too? You're yeah, going I'm going with the Bills. I'm going All with the better football team. What's Junior going with? I'm taking the Bills. I just I I don't understand um, a team that's like not uh, a team like the uh, like how a team like the Chargers will draft like a Herbert, but they have a veteran like Tyrod that can make them competitive. Now I don't understand Put a team like in. the Dolphins that you draft a quarterback high, you're not a competitive team. Why is he not starting? I, I mean, I think two is – I don't understand Fitzpatrick. I think the only there. logic is that they don't want to get him killed from that offensive line. But my argument against that is I kind of let him grow with those, those offensive right. linemen. And if you're worried about him getting hurt or killed, like, you know, right off the bat, then you probably shouldn't have drafted him in the first place. So that's my take. So I'm on right. board with you there. Yeah, it's just no, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um. I think this, is, this could be a good game, actually. I, you know, uh, division rival game, but it's in Miami – so, you know, Miami almost expects to win this. Well, they should expect to win it. But um, I think – I don't know if Josh Allen necessarily has a weakness. H- himself could be the weakness. You know, he can kind of hurt himself. But I, I think that's – it's a quarterback that kind of gets, you know, slowed down, not really by pass rush. Some quarterback – most quarterbacks' pass rush will affect them. It'll affect everyone, but it's not really going to make them play bad. I think it's I think it's a really good secondary. I think it's a really good group of corners that could – just make that extra play to turn the game around. I think the Dolphins having those stud corners could actually make things interesting. And I, the Dolphins' defense is pretty underrated. I think it's pretty solid. So um, I think this is closer than you think. I, I do think the Bills are just a much better team, and I don't really trust um, Fitzpatrick to score enough points to win to win this game. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to take the Bills. But I think that's it, it was a tougher one than you might think, for me at least. Uh, something to monitor, though, that Tremaine Edmonds and, and – 
Matt Milano, uh, their two-star linebackers there on the Bills, they they are day to day. They did come out of that last that last game against the Jets, and if they're both out, I'm strongly considering the Dolphins there, because that that would be a ma- that would be major losses. But they're day to day, so if I had to put money on it, I'd say they play, and at least and I don't think both will be out, but uh, we'll see. I guess that's the downside of doing the picks on Tuesday, but uh, it's all right. Got to get the picks out. You got yeah. you got to get them out. Uh, all right. All right. Okay. All right. Next one. Next. One. <laughs> I just said, just said it in the last one. Wait, Jets. is that what we wanted, or is this what we wanted? Jets are the worst team in football. Don't want that. Oh, whoa, no. whoa. No, we're good right there. We're good right there. This is a battle of the uh, Kirk Cousin runner-ups in, when he was in free agency. Okay. All right. Um, Jets are garbage. My God. <laughs> I'll say it. I mean, I'll say it. Someone's How many more games still Gase is fired? Well, I think Shane and I wanted to trade for Cousins, and then they went with uh, – I think it was really only between the Vikings and the Jets in that free agency. So I think they, I don't know if that's ever it was ever true either. But I, right. I, you always wonder. You always wonder what would they be with Cousins at a Garoppolo? But Garoppolo kind of, I don't think I could say it on YouTube. But they, they kind of pooped the bed last week. Mm. A little, little bit of poop. <laughs> Excuse me. Sneeze. He, yeah, he kind of in the bed, in the bed, just a little bit. Right. But it's a, it's a, they're just way better than the Jets. The Jets are beat up on top of it. Um, so they're, they're not so great of a team. They traded their best players, well, player, and then one of their best, their next best player then opted out. Um, and then Gase, you got Gase in there. So yeah. Uh, Gase is top of the list for me in terms of coach that how should the be fired. hell do you have your job? Right. He's, he's number one. Uh, I, just, I mean, I, I feel bad for the Jets fans. I mean. I don't know. Every, yeah, say something nice about the Jets. Every okay. uh, Jameson Crowder. Jameson Crowder. He's yeah. beast. Yeah. What a beast. Yeah, right. What a beast. Uh, but New I mean, York is a great state. They get hyped up about their football team every single year, and then they just disappoint. Don't they got Larry David on board? Is he a Jets fan? That, uh, what about that fireman that always uh, dresses up? Yeah, he up? told him to take Lamar Jackson, remember? Don't they have oh, that yeah, super no, fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, at least you have Larry David on board, so that's good. Well, maybe he's on board with the uh, Ravens now because he's a uh, – Clearly a Lamar Jackson fan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. All of us for the 49ers. They bounce back. Uh, we're moving on. We are moving on. The Rams Ooh. and the Eagles. The Rams' impressive Sunday night performance. They were home in that game. Maybe that was the difference. Now going to Philly. Philly, were they were they were looking good early. Carson Wentz looking good early. They're up 17-0. And then they blow the comeback. Carson Wentz not so good late. One of the worst, statistically, one of the worst quarterbacks in week one. One of the You know who worst? wasn't? Mitchell Mitch. Trubisky. Mitchell Trubisky was the first better. First three quarters was the worst. Was <laughs> better than Carson Wentz. Think about wow. that one. We're back, um, maybe. One thing I was going to say about what I took away from the Rams game, their jerseys are actually nice. No, I, I thought, love those. Are my I fa- thought, they might be my favorite jerseys in I football. Thought, I thought when I first saw them that they were terrible. When I saw them, I was like, when I, or like when we when they released, I was like, these these jerseys are awful. And, then and when they're going to have them, those same exact jerseys on in this game. I don't like the Rams. When I'm I saw them, I was like, these are nice. I don't like the gray. Oh, I love I those. Like I like them. It, perfect with the blue. They, like they a, look dirty. I like their helmets. Too. I'm taking the Rams though, not because the jerseys. Nice. That's a don't, bonus. Helmets are nice. They got to wear the all blues. I think the all blues are really oh, yeah. sick too. Um. But I'm taking the Rams, and I think all of us are going to take the Rams. Yeah, I'm taking the Rams as well. Yep, taking the Rams as well. <laughs> right, let me do we're, one of these. Let me take it off. We're jumping we'll... on now. We're there jumping we on the Rams I mean, thing the, a little bit. This is, this is literally, for me, it's a team that impressed me last week and a team that absolutely disappointed me their, last week. Their DBs are their hunters over there. It's uh, The amount of pressure they got yeah. was insane. They're not really supposed to get that. I mean, Aaron Donald is, but they're really yeah. not. Leonard Floyd was getting in there. They're gonna have he had two sacks, right? Yeah, I think he had. He's done for the year. He's done. He's, done. <laughs> he's, he's used the <laughs> clock. That's what he does. That's what he does. Uh, I hope he. I hope he does well. I hope he does. That didn't sound like it. Well, I'm just. I'm a realist, man. <laughs> That's kind of the question. This one, though, because even with Aaron Donald the, as a team, they weren't supposed to get that much pressure. And that's going to be a key against the Eagles here. So maybe they're kind of going back to what we expected. But I, I got to credit them, you know, with their blitz calls as well. I think they'll keep that up. Uh, Aaron Donald's going to be a, com- he's going to be a complete problem here. Um, people are like, well, oh yeah, the Eagles will get Lane Johnson back, maybe. Um, but that that doesn't really stop Aaron Donald. The interior is still a problem without Brooks, and, uh, and obviously he's out for the whole whole season. So I think Aaron Donald gets in there, uh, creates some hurries, and they got the secondary to make the plays. So they're, I think they're doing a. 
they're doing a good, they're building it right, but at the same time, you know, it's just tough to lose some of those. Like, the Rams could have had an elite defense if they could have somehow hung on to some of those players they lost. But uh, I really like what I'm seeing, though. The offense got to stay consistent. But, yeah, mainly for the pressure. And then the secondary, those are the reasons I, I have them uh, being Eagles. Carson Wentz got to step it up. Um, kind of kind of blew it there in the second half. You know, I was looking – I was, I was like, really impressed with them early because under pressure, throwing on the run, perfect throws, and all of a sudden it just flipped. It was the same amount of pressure. I don't know. We'll see if he can figure it out. We know he will at one point, that's for sure. Uh, but moving on to the next game, we're, we're, we're all picking the same team quite a bit here. Uh, Broncos and Steelers. That's a, a tough, tough one to one. pick here, yeah. Um, Broncos, Steelers. Uh, this, is, this is good. This I is go. good. Give me the Steelers. Oh, okay. Give yeah. them to me. All right, fine. Give them to me. Fine, yeah, if you me, want them. Give me, give me uh, the their, their defense is incredible. They were giving up yards, though. I, but, it, I mean, the their Giants defense should have scored more points in that game. Top, top tier. But they held them. They didn't score the points. You could say they right. did. Yeah, it doesn't matter about the points you almost score. Correct. I mean, they moved the ball. Though. Unfortunately for the Broncos, they're really banged up. <laughs> they're missing a lot of guys. Um, and more guys got hurt. And it's a away game. I think uh, and, and the Steelers are a veteran team. We talked about their defense already, and I, th- I thought they looked pretty good. Somebody with the Steelers at home. Um. Yeah, I think this is actually somewhat of a similar, in terms of the Broncos' offense, pretty similar to the Giants' offense. So I think they'll be able to move the ball um, a bit. And uh, maybe punch it in the end zone, unlike you know the Giants were supposed to do. But the, the difference between the Giants and the Broncos, the Broncos got a much better defense, so that could create a problem for the Steelers. Uh, much better defense than the Giants. I, but then kind of why I can side with the Steelers. I don't think the Broncos' offensive line plays as good as it did last week. I don't think it plays as good as the in terms of pass protections that the Giants did. Uh, but here's the key factor here. Here's the key factor. Uh, you look at the first half versus the second half, even the fourth quarter, uh, of how the Steelers' big bend, how they were able to move the ball. Major improvements as the game went on, um, and I think they kind of keep. I think they kind of keep rolling with that. I think, uh, and then Broncos' cornerback situations. Good defense. A little bit of a cornerback situation though. So I think Big Ben figures it out there, uh, picks on those guys a bit. This is going to be a good game, though. I think it'll be a really good game. And I mean, it's Steelers' defense, that, that run defense was ridiculous, ridiculous against the Giants. See if they keep that up. Could not agree with you more. Okay. Mm. All right. Hmm. Big, Steelers big, big Steelers guy. Big, huge Steelers guy. Always have Huge Steelers guy. All four of us, same pick. Next game, Panthers' Ooh. Bucks. Like all Anyone scared of the Bucks right now? Scared of I'm them? I'm concerned. Or yeah, scared for of, them. Scared for them and of them. I'm concerned. You're concerned? You are. Well, not like if. Did you say last week this that is you what don't I'm go against about. Tom? You don't go against Tom. I'm just concerned about the whole why Gronk is doing so much blocking. Because he can block. You can R- block. I mean, yeah, but somebody who he's. You got it. You got to use him in more ways. He does. He did too much blocking for my liking. One week, man. I I know. That's why I'm just a little concerned. Well, Bucks. I'm a little concerned. Bucks came out. But you're not going against Tom, though, right? I'm not going against oh, okay. him. No shot. After that first drive, I was like, oh my god, this Bucks team's gonna be legit. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of fell apart there. But um, I think they I think they bounce back at home here. Um, I mean, the Panthers aren't playing the Raiders, and the Bucks aren't playing the Saints. <laughs> I kind of want to make this my squeaker of the week. Whoa! But I already I did one. I so haven't done that. I don't know if I can. Uh, you can't double down. Are you yeah, going with the Panthers? No, I'm going with the Bucks. I just think it's going to be a 27-24 ish ball game, right around there. Right. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Bucks defense is very good. But I can't think. I mean, the Saints are the Saints are a really good team. I can't believe they give up that many points though. Special yeah. teams played. A, and That's Tom true. Tom gave picks. Yeah. Six, two picks. Pick That's six. true. Uh, Panthers got a pretty darn good offense. I think. I think. I mean, they played the Raiders, but pretty good offense. So even though I do like the Bucks defense, the Panthers will. I want to say keep up, but not too far off in terms of scoring. But I do like the Bucks here. I think they're better on both sides of the ball. Um, and, and I mean, what's what's the Panthers' main game? Who is the Panthers' main game? It, it's it's Christian McCaffrey, and that's how it opens everything up. Buccaneers' run defense really good. I mean, what would Kamara have? Less than 20 yards somewhere in that ballpark there. I mean, he's catching uh, the ball. Yeah, I mean, he's catching the ball fantastic. Yeah, but uh, so McCaffrey could be get good there. But I, I think they'll be kind of one dimensional in this game. Not c- completely, but yeah, 
Yeah, pretty close. Uh, Buccaneers. Buccaneers. We got a lot the same this week. Oh, yeah. So oh, I was yeah. saying it was going to happen. I was like, week one's just going to screw It's going to screw us. P, P, P. You, you're, it's a Have marathon, not a sprint, Pete. Pete. Washington Be football bold. team and the Arizona Cardinals, two teams that upset their opponent last week. Well, I don't know if the Cardinals were too much of an upset. I don't know. I was kind of feeling that one. Uh, but. Whoa. What? As far as the. Uh, I just almost said the bad word. Uh, as far as the uh, football team's uh, front seven. Whoa. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Be- beast. Yeah. Absolutely. I gotta, I gotta get that R word out of my out of my head. Here's the thing here though. Front seven, fantastic. Pass rush, fantastic. It's gonna definitely gonna help them win ball games like it did in week one. Cardinals offense line could be it's not it's not so hot and they can get after Kyler Murray, but pass rush again will affect everyone. But I don't know if it really beats Kyler Murray. Uh, and and they won't score a ton of points because that defense is good, but They'll still score points. They're they're actually good on both sides of the ball now. The Cardinals and I don't know if Washington's offense could keep up with uh, not not saying they're going to score a ton of points, but uh, I don't know if they can keep up with Kyler Murray in that offense. They'll they'll do enough. I think DeAndre Hopkins is a pretty big, bad matchup for their secondary, uh, and it's going to happen. They're going to win games because of that pass rush. But I think they're kind of especially in a game like this, they're relying on their pass rush pretty much to win this game. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Cardinals. I'm taking the Cardinals as well. I think uh, you said it right. I think that the they really have to do a lot. That front seven has to do a lot in order to slow them down. I don't think it's going to be enough when you're scoring a lot of points. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, even if their front seven plays incredible, I, like you said, I think the secondary is a, is a bad matchup for uh, the Cardinals' weapons. All right, lock it in. Get lock it in. Boom. I think the Cardinals' front seven plays pretty darn well in this game. Maybe yeah. their linebacker. Yeah. Isaiah Simmons a little sloppy in week one. I think he really comes alive. Um, in um, I think one of my favorite two. one of my favorite plays plays of the week and most impressive plays was Kyler Murray's touchdown run. Like, I, I don't think anyone, I don't think any quarterback in the league could do what he just did on that run. Like, he like defender was running full speed at him and he somehow the lateral movement. Yeah, he is somehow ridiculous. just he somehow moved sideways and got faster. Like, I don't he even has know. better. I mean, Lamar probably would have found a way to score on that, but in a totally different way. Yeah, it's, Lamar's Lamar better, and Lamar, Lamar can move, you know, laterally, but Kyler might be able to stop and, like, you know, turn it, you know, the opposite he way. Stop. Little, he just, because like, he's a baseball he just, player. Right, without stopping, he just, I guess. He just Is changed, that why? Yeah, he changed, changed, he's a baseball player. He changed directions without even – without like, getting faster somehow. Right. Know. He probably should have went and played baseball, huh? Mm, probably. <laughs> Good footwork. Yeah. Would he even be in the majors right now? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, anybody? All right. No? Not going to no. bet on that one, no. Okay, not only is are the Chiefs just, you know, much better, okay. Uh, I don't think you, you could pick against the Chiefs the whole year. It <laughs> might happen. Okay, not only are they a lot better, but I'm, I'm a matchup guy myself. You know, I play the matchup. This is this might be the worst matchup for the Chargers, um, one of the worst maybe, and they play them twice a year. I think the only way to beat the Chiefs team, you know, besides the fact that you can easily you can cheat and say they just get cold, you know, Mahomes has a bad day. Not really what I'm talking about because that's rare. Uh, I think the only way is you get the ball first. I got to get really specific here because this team's that good. You get the ball first and you run it down their throats and get the lead right away so you can keep running the ball. And that's inside. That's inside the tackles. Chargers, who is their inside the tackle runner? Josh Kelly actually looked pretty impressive last week, but let's be honest, this is not their strength. Uh, And they don't have enough explosive plays in the passing game. Uh, Their defense is pretty good, but is that enough against the uh, Chiefs team? Maybe maybe with Derwin James it could be be enough, but they don't have him, unfortunately. Um, So it's we're going with the better team, and we're going with the way better matchup as well. Yeah. Yes, we are. Yes, Plain we simple. are. All right. Okay. Ravens, Texans. Tough luck for the Texans. Oof. Tough Let me schedule. tell you. Yeah. Tough schedule. But they're home, home opener. You know, it was tough to play, you know, that early, first game of the year, Thursday, in Kansas City. Uh, they fresh off the Super Bowl. Maybe things are different this time around. Maybe things are different. Um, mm. 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 I can see Deshaun Watson having a pretty good game here. Man. See, I'm on, I'm on the opposite. I think he's going to struggle again. I, I think the Ravens' defense, they're they're a bunch of junkyard dogs, and I think I, they're, they're ball hawks over there. I think I said it about another team too, but I think 
overall, the uh, they scare me. The Ravens defense. I'm scared. I'm scared of them. It's it's, well, it's good. They, I think yeah. it might be Don Martindale, that defense coordinator. Uh-huh. That might be. It's it's really rare when you have a team like a defense. I, this reminds me of the 05 Bears. They they do whatever it takes to try and take the ball away. They they hold up the uh, the running back and they have so many arms trying to punch that ball out. And uh, I, I'm a defensive guy myself, so I, I enjoy watching that. And I don't think they're uh, – this this might be the ass-beating of the week for me. Really? Ooh. Yeah. It was I'm, last I'm, year. It was last year. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm really high up on the Ravens right huge. now. And that's no offense to the, the, to the Texans because I, I do like their team and I think they're going to be towards the end of the year a lot better than what they're starting off as. Agreed. But Ravens, watch I'm a out. huge Marcus Peters guy. Oh yeah, like uh, I think that's how like cornerback should be played. Like you should be aggressive and you should be trying to take the ball away. Like it, you're gonna get beat no matter what. Every corner is gonna get beat, but like you should be trying to make a difference in the game. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I like the Ravens a lot. I thought I thought Lamar ja- Lamar Jackson is just he's just getting better and better. It's ridiculous. Like he's I mean I already saw at week one he's I mean they did play the Browns but he's just having a good time out there and he's. Literally just getting better as a passer. He was throwing some some unreal balls. So taking the Ravens. Uh, I I don't think it's is uh bad as last year. I think it's it's a, gonna be a little closer than last year. But I I, I do got to go with the Ravens. I think Lamar's gonna be a problem. I got a feeling about Mark Ingram in this one. I think he, I mean the whole running back group. I think will run pretty well. Um, I think you know I don't know for sure, but I think they kind of just because Ingram's. The wear would not be the right word, but a lot of uh, mileage, I guess. I think they, they they had the Browns beat early, then they took him out early. I think he gets going in this in this game. So I think Lamar Ingram run very well against the Texans. Uh, I think Lamar will throw it's fine as well. Um, yeah, I just got I just got to go with. The, I think it's a bad match for them. I think they'll run pretty well. So I, I got to go with the Ravens. But the Tex yeah, the Texans are going to be a really good 0 2 team, and they're going to get yeah. better. Like Danny said, they're going to get better as the season goes on. They always do that. Um, yeah, they it's, always get hot. That's it's tough. It's tough. Maybe they. You're talking about the Ravens, how good their defense is, but you know, maybe one spot for as good as the defense as they are, you think they would be complete across the board at the edge rush position. You know, that's something that you kind of question a little bit. Um, so maybe Watson has some time, and that could be the difference because he didn't have too much time against the Chiefs. That could be the difference. But then again, why I like Martindale so much, the defense coordinator of the Ravens, he is the best blitz caller. Um, I, I'd say probably Martindale and Zimmer, are probably the best blitz callers in. In, in football, and that's where he gets his pressure. You know, he's Patrick Queen is going to be a heck of a blitzer, so that's where they'll get their pressure in this game. I got the Ravens. Yep, give me the Ravens as well here. Oh, yeah, guaranteed. Much different. I mean, I I don't think it's going to be a beat down, but um, I don't know. Comfortable win. Te- yeah, comfortable win. The Texans just, I don't know, not a good start to the schedule for them. Yeah, I think their next couple of games are pretty rough. Oh, boy. Yeah, they got uh, Steelers. Steelers and Vikings? Maybe. He just keeps getting they all got, these passes. That's, that's not too bad. They got the Vikings. <laughs> no, we got, oh, the Vikings might not be. I mean, Deshaun should be able to throw on them. We so. got the Steelers. We got the Vikings and the Steelers. Titans. I mean, that's, I was thinking Titans, I think. We're but talking about the Texans. Texans do, I know. I'm, I was the Texans just... do play the Vikings coming up, so I can guarantee you that. Uh, <laughs> moving on to the next game. We got the Sunday night footbee game. Patriots at the Seahawks. Cam Newton. Patriots. That was pretty fun. Pretty fun. Look, look good. A lot, a lot of, a lot of, what was there? A lot of read option plays. Uh, that's just like looks. It's yeah. It looks different. fun. It's different. different. I <laughs> think the Seahawks are gonna womp the Patriots here. You're gonna lock it in. Is your ass beating of the yeah. week? Whoa. I don't know. I, I mean, I thought that. I mean, the Dolphins. I think is just they're just a weak team, and I mean the Patriots didn't have to do much. They're gonna have to do a lot more in this game to to beat the Seahawks. And the Seahawks are home. Um, and Russell Wilson looks looks pretty dang good. Looks Are you pretty surprised dang- by that? He looks pretty dangerous. Mm. I'm not surprised by Mr. that. Unlimited. I think. But no, no. Well, what, oh, sorry. What I was surprised with is you know you always talk about the Seahawks just like run, run, run. Like they were opening up and yeah. throwing right away, and I loved it. Like that's that's how they jumped. That's how they're they making jumped Bill the think now. Bill so can't they, Bill can't go into the game like all right, we know what they're gonna do. They you know they they making them think a little bit. That's how they jumped on the Falcons there, so I like I like that they're opening it up a little more. Given, I mean, they should. Russell Wilson's one of the best in the league, so why not? Why not give him the keys? Uh, I've said it in the past, and I'm kind of going back to it here. Really, I don't think there's anything specific that's going to beat Russell Wilson. I just think, what would you rather have? 
an elite pass rush or an elite secondary to go against Russell Wilson. I'd actually choose it. Most most quarterbacks, you would choose the pass rush to go against them because that makes them struggle. I just think it's secondary. Russell Wilson's been getting pressured his, his whole life, and he just makes play. He almost gets better off it. Um, so I And the Patriots have that secondary to kind of throw him off maybe a little bit, but he's still going to play a pretty darn good game. Uh, I think he'll actually have more time to throw in this one. Uh, but Cam could get going on, on those runs like, uh, like we saw against the Dolphins. But the Seahawks traded for a certain somebody that is going to be all over those runs. He's going to be all over Cam Newton. Again, I think Cam Newton will get somewhere, but uh, Jamal Adams is kind of the perfect uh, perfect man for the job here. So I like the Seahawks on both sides of the ball a, a bit better here than the Patriots and their home Sunday night. Give me give me Seattle. Yep. Taking Seattle as well? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> okay. How many games do we have different? I feel like. Not, not a lot. Riz, Riz it's not our fault. Riz it's chose not our the fault. Giants. Well, that's not. We don't make you the schedules, the Colts. Pete. We don't make the schedules, Pete. I think that was it, right? <laughs> not much. Not much. This is, might be a first. A record. Uh, but now we're on to the Monday Monday night foot game. And this one actually might have got maybe better in some people's minds because Michael Thomas is actually going to miss several weeks. The star receiver, maybe the best receiver in all of football for the Saints. That's kind of a tough blow. They have plenty of weapons. But specifically at the receiver position, I you know I worry a little bit. You know Sanders, it's a good thing they picked up Sanders, but to me Sanders always has those like kind of minor injuries that pop pop up and kind of keep him limited. So that obviously can't happen here. Um, and the Saints, uh, yeah, they get that win against the Buccaneers. The Raiders, I mean, they they got they had an explosive day on offense. Um, the offense really got going. It was against the Panthers, but. I, th- I thought they looked pretty smooth out there. So I, I, mean, I keep that. I think that's the best way to explain how they looked. Um, so in their home, showing off first home game, showing off that new stadium. Uh, could that be the difference? You know, you know, home teams in prime time. A little hype might you know, that that might be the edge. So and any, any what does everybody got? What does everybody Give got? Give me the Saints. Give me them. Bold. How bold? That's pretty bold. It's not. It's not too bold. So I think brave. That it only. So brave. Uh, they're just going to get more creative with uh, Taysom Hill. Stunning. kind of what they're I'll doing say, over I'll there. I'll say they're going to put Taysom Hill at receiver. Yeah. They're just going to get more weird. More they're weird. More they're weird. Gonna, they're going to get funky out there. Um, oh, yeah. I think Kamara gets going in this game. I think uh, it could be closer than you think. Uh, but I will take the Saints. Um, yeah, they might be better. On, they should be better on both sides of the ball. No Michael Thomas. Uh, so you could say it's pretty – maybe you could argue it's pretty even – but especially at where we're at in the season, early season, I think the Saints' defense uh, definitely edges out the Raiders. But it's in it's in Las Vegas. They're showing off the new stadium. Could be the difference there on Monday night. I'll be stunning and brave as well and take the Saints. Okay. How stunning. Oh, boy. And brave. I'm taking the Saints, too. We did it. I think this is actually going to be a really good game. I don't, yeah, I don't, I think I don't, good, I don't know if I don't know if squeaker points, but oh, I don't think I did my squeaker, so this is my squeaker of the week. There it Ooh, is. That's, <laughs> a, that's, that's a bold squeaker. That's yeah. bold. <laughs> All right. I don't think I did. We're going to have to watch the film. Well, well, it's weird because yeah. we got – We're the squeaker guy, so. We yeah. got a lot of the same picks, and I don't know. We just get fooled by week one. We're going to be surprised somehow. Yeah. What if we just got, like, all these wrong? That would be, that'd be <laughs> wild. We would, would like, just, hey, uh, hey. Doesn't happen here. All right. Well, uh, these are guarantees. These, yeah, well, these yeah, are, we're going to have a good record at the end of this. Oh, yeah, guys. Yay yeah. for us. If the Giants pull it off, I'm looking pretty good. No, 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 get, no, no. Get that one extra there. No, no. no. I took a – I had a bull. Yeah, you had a Colts. You had a Colts. Yeah. Had a Colts I, right I, I literally think that's the only ones we have. <laughs> Quite yeah, possibly. It's, it's a strange week, but it's only week oh. two. Anything can happen just like week one. So, random things will – yeah, they'll they'll definitely happen. They'll definitely happen out there. But uh, plenty more content on the way. Again, we'll be back every single week with these. I do my score predictions. We got junior score predictions on the Patreon. We got – we got we got what we got power rankings, plenty more action. So please smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, join us for all that. You're gonna want to turn notifications on so you don't miss a damn thing. That's gonna do it for this one though. Thanks for watching. Mm. Goodbye.